Ahoy mateys, Captain Jack Scrapper here. Uh, today is the uh, 12th of January 2021 and I've had an extremely good day even though it started out bad. But I'm going to call this synchronicity at work. And I'll explain what I mean as, I, as soon as I get you kind of set up on the dashboard here. Uh, here in Sparta at Camp Lake we are at uh, 30 degrees. Uh, there are some slick spots here and there on the roads. But so far so good. I did not see any accidents on my trip down to Alpine and Four Mile area. Um, why did I have to go to Four Mile and Alpine on Alpine? Well, the first thing that happened this morning anyways, my my Verizon phone you know, it's not nothing expensive. Uh, I don't know if there's ghosts in my house or what, but come to find out, I was not receiving calls. And it didn't even beat that me when there was a voicemail. And I was expecting my friend Scott to call because he had scrap. So I drove around... And I finally tracked Scott down at his house. He had just gotten home. And he said, yeah, I've been trying to get a hold of you. I said, I've been trying to get a hold of you, too. He said, yeah, I saw your voicemails, but I was at the doctor's. Oh. He said, I left you a voicemail. I said, you did? I said, the only thing I saw was recent calls and that you'd called me this morning. He says, yeah, I was trying to tell you that had to cancel for today to pick up scrap because I had a doctor's appointment. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, we got that straightened out. Now we have an appointment for this coming Thursday to finish up the scrap. So that was good news. Kind of getting things narrowed down and the weather's supposed to be a little bit better on Thursday. It's supposed to be in the 40s, believe it or not. Is this what they call the January thaw? Our winter has actually been quite mild so far. Thank you, Jesus. At any rate, I still knew I had a problem with my phone. So I thought, well, probably the best thing I can do is just go to Verizon. Because I tried everything on here. I tried settings. I tried... I was totally lost, and I'm an old pirate that, you know, if it's, if it's not an abacus for mathematics, and it's not a sextant for GPS, what have I got? All this new mangled contraptions. <laughs> So I went to Verizon, and I want, believe it or not, to give out a shout-out to Verizon. I was amazed. All right, so I drove to Verizon. I saw Elijah, and he was extremely courteous, and I was in and out of there in 10 minutes. We're talking about an extremely busy Verizon store in the Grand Rapids area. Uh, they are the store where I originally set up my Verizon account about, uh, it was last summer, because I was so upset with uh, PCS Metro. They, I had PCS Metro for like seven, eight years, and when I needed help, they just, no, 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 no. I, I, saw, I actually went without a cell phone for th over three months. And finally, I thought, well, 
I gotta have cell phone, I gotta have this, I gotta have that. So I went to Verizon, and I've been very happy ever since. And I think a lot of other nomads are quite happy with Verizon as well. But I'm still going to shout out Verizon for a minute. Anyways, he fixed my phone instantly and showed me how I can do it next time. I also brought my MiFi with me. Now, the MiFi works perfectly. However, uh, for about four months now, I've been paying for 30 megabytes of usage, but, you know, 15 plus 15, two SIM cards. Somewhere along the line, when I went to change out the SIM card, and this was four months ago, whatever it was, I uh, took the expired SIM card and put it in a little envelope and I hung it on the wall, believe it or not, in an envelope and thumbtacked it to the wall. Well, as you all know, I, Michelle, my resident ghost in the house, she can be quite mischievous. She likes to uh, hide things. And she does other stuff that is not the end of the world by any means, but <laughs> there are times when Holly or myself, we go, damn it, Michelle. <laughs> and I think she's laughing somehow behind us. Uh, yes, I believe in ghosts. <laughs> at any rate, uh, Elijah at Verizon on Alpine and Four Mile here in uh, the Grand Rapids area. That's actually Walker where he works. Fantastic. Bingo! New SIM card for the MiFi. Good to go. No charge. Because I told him, I said, hey, I got insurance on this. You know, I'm willing to pay my deductible. He said, no, no, no. SIM cards are free. Anybody who has a MiFi and you got a problem where you lost your card or it doesn't work or. Nope. Get it replaced. For free. Hello. Everybody pay attention. That's a good thing. Synchronicity is at work again. <laughs> and just say one more thing about Verizon. And I'm not being paid by Verizon by any means. Uh, the Greenville store. Greenville, Michigan. They helped me a lot, too. When I went in the lake with my phone. <laughs> back in July, I think it was. Duh! Forgot my phone was in my shorts pocket. Went swimming. Duh. Guess what? My phone didn't work after that. Ah, well, I was working in Greenville. I stopped at the Verizon and said, hey, what can I do? Blah, blah, blah. They said, oh, you got insurance. Oh, well, good. Then what? So I paid them $9 and I had a phone in less than 24 hours on my doorstep at the cottage. With a SIM card, if I needed it, I didn't need it, I was able to take my SIM card out of the old phone, put it in, the new phone, got all my contacts back, yada yada. And all I had to do was put my phone that had gotten damaged in the water in a box and send it back to them, UPS, and I was able to do that easily, for free again, at the uh, UPS store. Uh in Sparta. Well, actually, it's the Ace Hardware, but they do UPS stuff. So anyways, boom, bang. Everything went good. Okay. <coughs> so, I was so impressed with all that, and I knew that I wanted to get a laptop. Uh, my other laptop had disappeared. I thought, well, and I'd said something to one of the workers over there at Greenville. They said, well, here, take a look at these. And they showed me a Chromebook. Well, I've been proud owner of a Chromebook within less than a few days. It took about seven days for them to get the actual Chromebook into the store and call me up and say, hey, your Chromebook's here. Huh. And I've been very happy with that. So I'm good to go. And 
at this point in time, I can't say enough good things about Verizon. Now, I'm going to go on to a different subject here. Is Elixie Straightheart? Now, I don't know if I say her name correctly when that could be the French spelling. Many of you do have her, uh, you know, on your subscriber list. Uh, but we all call her Izzy. But it's, and I'll put her link down below plus another link that you're going to need, I hope. If you're willing, if you can. Uh, she's gone through some hard times. And she's been a blessing to me. She's been a blessing to many, 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 many. Um, and she makes her living on the internet. But she needs a computer to do that. All things considered, you can go to the the help me thing, which you'll have a, a list or a thing down here, GoFundMe. Um, and she's not asking for a lot of money. And she's about one third of the way there. She's had some really trying times and in order to get back on her feet as best as she can, she needs a laptop. A used laptop. She's not asking for a brand new one, nothing like that. She just wants to get a used laptop where she can resume her daily uh, job on the internet to put bread on the table and keep herself alive. <laughs> so, I will put two links down below. One is to her GoFundMe and then the other is, of course, to her just her channel. So if you don't have uh, Miss Straightheart as a, uh, a channel that you're subscribed to, please go check her out. I mean, you may not like her content, but I do. I mean, her and Poncho are something else. And it looks like I may have to move because I'm blocking the driveway, so I'm going to do that in a minute. Okay, um, the reason I parked where I did was I was trying to get a view of the lake behind me. At any rate, mateys, uh, synchronicity is at work. I was kind of bummed out this morning, and things weren't going quite right. Yada yada, with the phone, with a few other things, and mix up with... You know, thought I had to meet Scott at the house on 17 Mile. Just on and on. But, guess what? It's all falling into place. It's all good. So, you know, if you trust, things do work out. They really, really do. Think positive thoughts. And there you go. So, looks like these guys might go try to go ice fishing. I don't want to. It's too cold for me. No, they're going ice skating. Okay. Anyways. Fair winds. And smiles. And, of course, may God bless. We'll catch you later. I still got to do that Mr. Heater repair video, too. Okay, mateys, thank you for coming aboard. Appreciate you. And if you can, please help Izzy.